Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by the Honorable Afamasaga Lepuye Riko Tupai, who is the Minister for Communications and Technology for Samoa. Welcome to the studio, Minister. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, I wanted to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, your hopes and aspirations for this particular conference. You've, you've come a long way, and uh, I presume uh, that uh, you must hope for, for some good outcomes here. Yes, um, you're right. We've come a long way. And uh, we have particular issues that we, in the Pacific, uh, as we are here not just for our country, Samoa, but uh, for the whole Pacific region. Um, uh, let me say that uh, particularly on the issue of uh, the use of C-band, um, we understand that the ITU and uh, others uh, will be looking at phasing out the C-band, especially in communication via satellite. But uh, this is very vital for us and it's very critical, uh, especially for us in our resilience, in natural uh, disasters, planning for us, especially in events as you may well know that the Pacific is prone to disasters, especially in cyclones. For this particular end of year season, we have, we're looking at 12 to 16 cyclones coming our way. C-band is proven uh, to have uh, survived, especially in uh, severe uh, weather and uh, times of uh, adversities. C-band really stands out in the rain and uh, you know, it gets communication going for us. It's our main aim at this particular conference that we're in, um, here in uh, WRC 19, that please keep C-band for satellite communication for us in the Pacific. We have a lot of resources that's dependent, especially in the fishing. 60% of the fishing comes from the Pacific region. So communication via satellite through to fishing vessels and everyone especially in uh, weeding out the illegal fishing and you know, illegal activities within the Pacific region, we depend so much on sea band. So please, you know, we ask to keep the sea band for satellite communication. Regarding ITU, I wanted to ask you how important is the work of ITU and its study groups, do you think, uh, for um, countries such as uh, Samoa? Samoa depends very much on ITU uh, in a lot of its communication and a lot, especially in the area of uh, rec regulatory. Um, we get a lot of help, uh, not just for Samoa, but in the whole Pacific region. Uh, in our communication, uh, telecommunication activities, you know, uh, the areas of cyber security and in all development of our ICT, we depend so much on ITU. Uh, we get a lot of help and uh, in capacity building in all areas. And uh, for that, I'd like on behalf of not only Samoa, but for the Pacific region, I uh, would like to acknowledge uh, the Secretary General and the team and the whole union uh, for the tremendous help in our country and as well the Pacific region. Uh, we have areas and remote uh, communities that are unconnected, but with help of ITU, you know, they are now able to communicate to family overseas and they are now able to connect as well to the local communities uh, from the remote areas that are, we are not able to reach uh, with the limited resources that we have. So thanks, uh, thanks to ITU for all the help and the assistance for all our, our communities uh, and able to connecting us and to get the unconnected into communications. I wanted to ask you, what are your feelings about connectivity? Uh, are you optimistic for the future in the region? Yes. Uh, we have a lot of communication uh, connectivity through submarine cables now arriving throughout the whole Pacific region itself. We're trying to connect the whole internet of Pacific region, all islands to be connected amongst ourselves. And then we place servers in three or two locations around the region so that we're able to pass information freely and also able to, to drop the cost that we spend on technology just by working together. So connectivity, there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of, although lots of challenges, we also are optimistic about the future, especially moving now into digital transformation and everything is going to be digitalized. And you know, it's, it's very important for us. And 
although it's very far for us to come for this WRC 19, we, you know, we came all the way just to see what's there for us in the future. How and what opportunities and what, how we resolve our challenges that we face. Challenges all over the world in telecommunication is the same, but it's a matter of solving it and working together around the world and especially in the union of ITU you know, to try and uh, resolve these problems and then move forward. And gathering gatherings like this, we're able to get help from one another. I was going to say, you mentioned the challenges. What about the opportunities in the Pacific region? Well, lots of opportunities. And there's no denying that uh, with connectivity comes opportunities. Lots of capacity, not, via, not only uh, via satellites, but via uh, submarine cables connectivity. There's a lot more opportunities, employments, and uh, especially women. You know, we promote a lot of uh, women in ICT. And uh, for next year, we're looking at hosting the global celebration for women in ICT in our country. And uh, we have a lot of our own activities. So opportunities is limitless, sky's the limit, but it's up to us, you know, build capacity in all areas and all uh, aspects of development in ICT. And then ICT is the backbone of the economic and social development of our countries and every other country in the world. So we depend a lot on ICT, we depend on a lot of, a lot on communication and telecommunication, it's, we have to keep developing and we have to keep moving. When telecommunication rises, everything else rises together with it. So hence, you know, the effort to try and attend, especially in ITU activities. Minister Afamasaka, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. We're very glad that you made the effort to be here and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the very near future. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Bye.